If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over my Team Diamonds predictions, which we do expect, by the way, Team Diamonds to drop sometime next week. Kralo did say it'll be dropping more than likely next week. If you guys don't know what Team Diamonds is, Team Diamonds is essentially member team builders, right? That dropped early in the year. It's like one player from each team with, you know, one player from each team. So, you know, just anyone random, right? Team Diamonds is pretty much team builders on steroids. The way you want to look at it pretty much is that every team will get some fan favorite type legend. Now, not exactly like a Jerry Rice, like I said, like a Calvin. It's going to be someone that if you're a fan of that team, you view them as one of the best players of all time, right? One of the best players of all time for your team. But other people may look at them. They were like, they were, they were, they were good. But, you know, it's, it's more of, it's more of, it's like theme team oriented, but good players. So, for example, oh, and there's usually a master. So last year. The master was Barry Sanders. That's a top tier legend. No, no doubt about that. But you see guys like Team Diamond, Victor Cruz for the Giants. If you're a Giants fan, you love Victor Cruz. You know, he had some big games for you, playoff games, Super Bowl games. He had some big moments for you. He, his, you know, his career wasn't the longest. He didn't exactly go out the way you expected, you know, for a legend to go out of the way. But if you were a Giants fan, he's a legend in your eyes, right? And that's kind of what Team Diamond is going to be. So I'm going to be going through my predictions for each and every team. Some guys I think we could see. Again, this isn't an exact science. It could literally be anyone. They could be crazy this year and give us guys like Randy Moss for the Vikings, you know. But they could also be like usual, give us fan favorites. But we do have an EA Play reward pack for September. So I do want to open that before we do get into the video. I saw it sitting here and I was like, what better time than to open this? We had an ultimate kickoff play. We got a 76 right there. It looks like an ultimate kickoff esque pack. Get an elite right there. 81 Roger Saffold. We get a silver and we get another oh, 88 Marvin Jones Jr. Okay, I will take that. It's 100K. All right, Marvin Jones and a Roger Saffold. That was a good pack. I don't know what kind of pack that was. It didn't really specify. It looks like an open kickoff. But, anyways, let's get into these guys. I'm just going to read them off team by team as I go through it, talk about it a little bit. I gotta go over so again i'm gonna go through team builders because of course that is kind of what you want you're gonna expect it to look like like i said it'll probably even be it'll be under the team affinity tab more than likely as well so before i write the next team builder say team diamonds so let's start with our thing so for the bears again i'm gonna go one by one and go kind of show you so for the bears i have dick budkiss that's one of the guys now again i'm gonna go out of order here because again i didn't write it like this i probably should have dick budkiss for the bears solid linebacker i wonder how they'll do a stats but again that's the kind of guy that's like a, a legend in terms of bears legend in terms of real life too but for the bears a guy i can see us getting now for the pats i think legarant blunt could be a pretty good card now legarant blunt again a guy that's been with the pats for a while he had a good career he won some big games with them he wasn't always with them but if you're a pats fan you know legarant blunt and again with this new madden meta guys if they give him like a nine if they give him an 89 90 speed with that weight and that power he could be really really good for the Eagles, Shady McCoy, LaShawn McCoy, that would be a fire running back. Give him a 91 speed, super elusive, uh, pretty good catching ability. I would really like that one as well. And I'll talk about which ones would be meta. I mean, LaShawn McCoy probably similar to Reggie Bush. It probably wouldn't be too meta. Um, LeGarrette Blunt, depending on the speed, could be meta. Next, guys, for the Steelers, we got Jack Ham, Outside linebacker, pretty good pass rusher, probably a little bit of a decent zone. Nothing too crazy there, but I could see that one coming. Rams, Torrey Holt. If you guys know Torrey Holt, Torrey Holt's a really good route runner really good with the ball in his hands would be really good for this game kind of in a, if he's better overall than jerry rice he'd probably he'd be similar to jerry rice if he's a low overall he'd be jerry rice light if i had to imagine team diamonds probably like a 90 91 overall give or take for the vikings john sullivan solid center uh play with ap seems like the kind of guy who could get a card you know we're gonna have to get some old linemen here obviously for the saints i'm thinking willie rofe tackle for the saints legend s tackle you know if you know if you're a saints fan you know him for the Packers, Jermichael Finley. Just like last year, Jermichael Finley was a really good tight end. Although, I don't know if he gets the speed, but this year's different. They're giving speed, you know, crazy this year. If Jermichael Finley gets like an 88 speed even, you know, with some great route running, catching, and everything else. Maybe some run blocking. He'll be very similar to a budgety uh, version of maybe Waller, LTD. Next with Falcons, Brian Finneran. Now, Brian Finneran would be an absolute monster on this new Madden. Six foot, was he six foot seven? Brian Finneran will go absolutely crazy. Again, another guy's like a fan favorite. You know, he's not a legend in terms of the NFL, but... If you're, a, if you're a Falcons fan, if you're a Madden fan, you know who Brian Finneran is. Um, next for the Panthers, I'm thinking Steve Smith. Steve Smith, again, Panthers legend. He'd be really cool. Again, he would fit this meta. Again, you got your big guys. You have Finneran. You have Calvin. You have those guys. But Steve Smith would be super elusive. He'd have the stiff arm, the juke, the, the power. He'd be that guy who could really just be an open field maniac for you. And that's what I want to see. Uh, 49ers, I'm thinking Patrick Willis. Patrick Willis, Hall of Fame-esque legend. He... He again, maybe be better slated for a Halloween, maybe be better slated for a legend. But if we get a Patrick Willis card, he's tall, he can hit, 
He can usually be probably usually has like a decent zone. He's good. I will have to see a Patrick Willis card. For the Chargers, Antonio Cromartie. I believe he may have gotten this card last year as well. So I don't know if they'll do it again, but Antonio Cromartie is such a good card when he comes out. Super athletic, some decent height, good playmaking ability. I always love a Cromartie card. Now, this is iffy. Now, because of the way this year's been, like they gave Javon Curse a um a, a card recently they've been giving some campus here they've been giving some cards some legends some cards and some recent promos like randy moss for the base elites to come out in the game i feel like we can see Deion sanders for the cowboys I and mean, we haven't gotten Deion yet it could be saved for legend but they may rather i feel like it's better when they drop with a cool promo like this or maybe even a master but that would be really cool for the chiefs i could see us getting tony g tony gonzalez we haven't gotten him yet we usually have him by now honestly Tony Gonzalez, he wouldn't be a, probably wouldn't be a meta tight end unless they gave him the crazy speed. Probably ends up with like an 87, 88 speed. Again, probably real similar there with Jermichael Finley. For the Jaguars, Jimmy Smith. Now, I don't even know who he is, but I did hear you on Twitter. He confirmed that he was going to be in the game this year or whatever. And we have Team Diamonds coming soon. So I feel like Jimmy Smith, wide receiver for the Jaguars, could be a possibility. For the Ravens, I have a Lodi Nada. I mean, Lodi Nada was just a staple. A staple in Mutt for a long time. And not, not that he was like the best, but he was just always there. He's been around for a while. I could really see a Lodi Nada getting a card. Next, guys, for the Seahawks. Now, this will be fun. Marshawn Lynch. Let me know. You guys want a Lynch card? I would love to see a Marshawn Lynch card. Comment down below. Lynch would be so great. He, if they gave him, like, a 90 speed, right? That's all I want. Give him a 90 speed. Give him some good weight and some crazy trucking with his, you know, his dredge just falling behind. I would love to rock out with the Lynch card. It's been too long. I haven't used a competitive Lynch card in Madden. Probably since, like, Madden 16, Madden 50. It's been so long since they made a good Lynch card. Uh, Lions, Dre Bly. I believe he played for the Rams as well, but I did see he played for the Lions. Would seem like that stereotypical, just like at, above average corner, good corner that would just fit into a Team Diamond promo. For these guys, for the Raiders, I can see us getting Jack Tatum. Jack Tatum will fit that. Like what Trevon Morgan's been, you replace him. Jack Tatum's going to be, should be faster, slightly. We'll get some good hit power and some height and some strength. He's like that all around archetype like that you want. He can do everything. He can play the pass. He can swat the ball. He can run. He can pick. And he can hit like the best of them. He's going to good. If you have him and Sean Taylor over the top, they're going to be crazy together. For the Texans, I mean, I don't know because he was a uh, master last year, but Andre Johnson was like one of the uh, the mud champ, whatever it was called last year, the mud master. Andre Johnson would be good again in this meta, six foot five, or at least close. He's like six foot. He's between six three and six five. I know he's pretty tall, maybe not, maybe six four, but he's really good. As long as they give him the route running and the catching and the physicality, I mean, as long as the speed is close enough to relevant, he will be a good card. For the Titans, I could see Warren Moon getting a card. Warren Moon's always been a pretty solid card. He'll get decent speed, probably like eighty four speed. If he can get. Or was the kind of guy that could be a sleeper, right? If he comes in and gets like an 84 speed and also could for whatever reason get Gunslinger or we know or one of those or feel or um, Hot Rod Master, some good ability. He could be one of those sleeper quarterbacks to come in here and they just they're just dominant and everyone wants him as a meta card. For the Washington football team, I would like to see Daryl Green, super fast cornerback. I would love to have him on the team. He'll probably get like a 93 speed. 92 speed would be really, really good. I would love a Daryl Green card. For the Buccaneers, I got Mike Allstott, just a stereotypical Buccaneers pick right there. Mike Allstott, got to throw a fullback in there. Usually a fullback will get a card at some point in one of these promos. For the Broncos, yes, I'm speeding it up a little bit because this could go on for a while. Broncos, we got Demarius Thomas. I think he recently retired, Demarius Thomas. Broncos legend for sure. Had plenty of dominant seasons as a top five wide receiver. Definitely solid. Next we have the Bengals, Tequila Spikes. If you guys have been playing Madden, I believe he's on the Chargers too. If you've been playing Madden long enough, and you play back during the most feared days back in like Madden 13 through Madden 16. Tequila Spikes always got a most feared card. I used to love that guy. I mean, he wasn't always the fastest, but he was just that name like Tequila Spikes. Like you would play the Tequila Spikes solo challenge and get the puzzle piece. It was just crazy. For the Giants, my G-Men. A lot of guys that I prefer, but I feel like Eli Manning can get a card here. He recently retired. I feel like EA likes Eli Manning. I feel like a lot of the NFL, you know, the NFL likes the Mannings. The Mannings are an elite family. They're Madden Royal. They're, 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 they're NFL royalty, right? Big names. I could see Eli Manning getting a card for the Giants. Probably would be too great for Madden, though. For the Bills, I think I'm Bruce Smith. Again, an example of a legend who usually gets a legend card, but they could fit him in right here just so ever perfectly. Throw him in there. He'd be really good. He usually has speed. He can stop the run and pass rush. For the Colts, and this, one, this, this, is, this is the sleeper quarterback of all time. If they give Andrew Luck on the Colts. For Colts fans, he's probably a Hall of Famer. For the NFL, based on how he retired early, probably he, he won't be. But Andrew Luck could be crazy. They could give him an Andrew Luck Team Diamond card. They give him like an 86 speed with like 90 plus throw power and accuracy. And if he can get like Gunslinger or like Escape Artist, that card would be one of the best cards in Madden. I would love it. Cardinals is going to be one of the worst cards. They'll probably give Fitzgerald the card. They probably give him like an 87 speed, give or take. And he's going to be super slow. Decent height, great route runner, great catcher. For the Dolphins, I feel like Cameron Wake is due for a card. Been a while. Uh, Cameron Wake could get a pretty good card here. Really good finesse move. Pretty good speed. Be a good card. For the Browns, I feel like Josh Cribs, right? That just fits. Josh Cribs always used to sneak in a card. 
great kick returner for some reason he was always a kick returner madden that was super slow i don't know why they did that hopefully they do him right give him some good give him some power give him some agility and give him some speed and for the final one the jets i feel like nick mangold just feels right nick mangold or kevin away right but i'm going with nick mangold here when i first started watching football nick mangold is one of the best madden centers so you know obviously those days are long gone but it would be, it would be nice to see it but guys those are my team dime predictions hopefully you guys did enjoy new to the channel give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course subscribe turn that notify bell and give me some comment comment down below your favorite team's prediction for team diamond thank you for watching i'm out peace